what's up guys my name is jay and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you a trick that you can use to easily balance your vocals on a beat so i'm going to be showing you how i moved this mix from this why do her like this call me soft why do her like this why choose to be unfair to this why do her like this call me soft why do her like this why choose to be unfair why, why? Why do her like this? Why you don't believe? Why, 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 why do her like this? Why do her like this? Why, 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 why do her like this? Why, 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 why do her like this? Tell me, why do her like this? She was only trying to get a paint job. One of the most common issues that producers go through is learning to balance the vocals on a beat. This is a very big issue when it comes to upcoming producers so i'm going to show you this trick which can just help you start balancing your vocals on a bit even better if you look at this uh, most of these vocals are not consistent in terms of volumes so you've got high parts you've got uh, low parts so what we're going to do in this tutorial is that we're going to use some plugins to make these vocals evenly distributed in terms of volume so that it will be very easy for us to balance these vocals on this beat before i show you this let me just play this so that you know what we're dealing with and the only thing that i have here is just auto tune on uh, all my three channels so i've got a lead vocal here i've got um, a backup vocal one and backup vocal two why, why, why do her like this call me soft why do her like this why choose to be unfair why, 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 why do her like this why you don't believe why, 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 why do her like this why do her like this why do her like this? They was trying to leave it up. Tell me, why do her like this? She was only trying to get a paint job. All right, guys. So this is the song that we're dealing with. So um, for now, I'm just going to focus on uh, my lead vocal, which is this one here. So I'll just zoom in a bit and I like this point, maybe the beginning or maybe uh, let me say from here. To somewhere this part then i'll just press p on my keyboard to do that and then just move this to this point so i'm going to mute this and this and then i will go i will switch off the beat then i'll go in here under this vocal right here so once i come here i'm going to load this eq is from uh, fab filter so most of the plugins that i'm using in this video if you don't have them i'll leave the link in the description you can just follow the link and download them so this is pro q3 that's what i'm going to use and the reason why i've pulled up this eq plugin is because i want to cut off some of the the low end by using this low cut let's take this to 30 then or 36 yeah let's take it to 36 we've just cut out some of the unwanted frequencies down here or on the low end of this and then the next one is a gate plugin which is just called pro g pro g by fab filter also and then we'll just set it to this under vocal set it to the preset nice and tight and then just leave it there and then after that we're going to put a plugin called nectar nectar is by isotope so we we'll load nectar and the reason why we're loading nectar is because we want to see how we can even out the vocal in terms of levels nectar here has got this what is called auto level mode so when it's in auto level mode and then it analyzes your vocal it will boost the low parts of your vocal and then also limit the high parts of your vocal thereby giving you a more consistent flow of the vocal and using this vocal assistant here neta is going to show us the parts on the eq that have got issues and then it's going to automatically reduce those parts also it's going to do some de of the vocal making sure that this is somewhere here where you have most of the the loudest point of your lead vocal make sure this playback line is starting just in the beginning and you've 
done this so that this loops just click vocal assist and then click on assist and next and then just choose modern and moderate then next click the space bar on your keyboard and then just play the audio so nectar is going to analyze your your audio in terms of uh, frequencies and then correct them on the eq and then in terms of sibilances on the dsa it will add the dsa and it will also auto level your vocal so let's just play clicking the space bar why do her like this why choose to be unfair why you do her like this? Why you don't believe? Why you do her like this to be unfair? Why you always been mean? Alright, so once it's done, just click on the space bar to stop and then go to accept. So if you look at this first EQ, this is what we call a corrective EQ. So this EQ was correcting the, the parts that had issues on the vocal here. And then if you look at this, this is a DSA which has been set to reduce those sibilances. So the other EQ you see here is just an EQ to boost up some other things. But during this process, we are not boosting anything. We just wanted this corrective EQ to correct on our vocal. So this one, by pressing this X here, we're going to remove it. We also remove the, the compressor because we have better plugins for compression and then we can remove the reverb because we have better plugins also for reverb and then the get we can remove it so we we'll just remain with the eq and the deesser once this is done you just remove this and then come back here under the same vocal so we are doing everything under this same vocal here so after this is done you can uh, click here and then just uh, search for the plugin Pro L, Pro L2, which is just a limiter. So on top of the auto level, we're going to add a limiter just to make sure things are just in place. So you can just drag and set this to somewhere around 12. If you look at this somewhere around 12 db then after that you can push this and then just somewhere around this area so what we are doing is uh controlling these two knobs and then we just make sure that we see a reduction of negative three here which is just okay so let's just play this as we play around with this to see a reduction of negative three why you do her like this? Why you choose to be unfair? Why you do her like this? Why you don't believe? Why you do her like this? Why you choose to be unfair? Why you do her like this? Why you don't believe? Why you do her like this? Why you choose to be unfair? All right, so somewhere here, uh, negative 3.7. So as long as we're around negative 3 in terms of reduction, then that's okay. So once we're done with this, then it is done. So we just switch off the auto tune here because we're going to be exporting these audio files and we don't want to export with the auto tune. We can add the auto tune in the process of mixing. So I'll just come here and say copy channel settings and then I'll just copy these on my other channels because I want all my vocals to be consistent. So I'll copy the same settings on all the channels. All right, so once this is done, you can just make sure you click uh, your bit, then click P so that you, you set this, the start of the song to the end. You can go to file on the top corner and just go to, to your export window, which is this one, and then select multiple. Once you select multiple, uncheck the output and stereo out, and then just select your lead, backup one, and backup two. So for these, you can you can actually choose a folder. Let's say I choose a folder on my desktop. I'm going to choose a folder on my desktop, which I just created. It's called vocals. So I want to export this in that particular folder.
you can just come down here and click create audio track and then insert to pull then just make sure this is wave and then select mono down mix so that you export in mono format after you select the folder then just export so once the export is done you will see that your vocals will go into the folder which you've selected on the desktop or whichever folder and then in my case because i clicked on uh, create track these vocals will come into my project down here let me just get this lead one and let's just compare it with this one here so that you see what's going on so you can see that this one is now a bit more consistent in terms of uh, volumes if you look at this part here look at what this looks like and then look at what it is looking like now some of the parts that are low have been boosted a bit I'll remove this delete the, the other vocals and replace with the new ones that you just put in here and make sure that these you delete them and if you remember we had these plugins here you can just remove them switch on the auto tune and just go to copy channel settings and paste on these now okay so if we play this to balance these vocals now on this beat first of all let's go to our master and then just add a plugin called mv meter we're just going to use it to observe the levels of our mix so i'll leave the link in the description it's a free plugin you can download it and then what we we'll do at this point is just highlight everything and come to this volume here so you make sure that you take this uh playback line be to the loudest point of your mix i'm going to be reducing the volume here until i see that my average somewhere is around negative six here then i'll let go so let me just play this okay so that's about uh, negative 6.5 is what i've seen and then now you can just start matching in the backing vocals whatever level you need as long as you don't go above negative 6 here now at this point you can just start cutting out these other parts that you don't need can cut them off and just make sure you you arrange things accordingly the vocals that we had uh, exported on the on the desktop are the ones that you can get and drop in the mixing template or whatever or you can just start mixing from here add your your group channels and then start adding your plugins because everything is balanced now Make sure when you add the compressor, you maintain the, the levels of these volumes and the beat. Whatever you add, you just maintain the levels. So let me show you after this what we have. All right, guys. So this is the finished project. I've got some uh, automations down here that I did with the, the reverb. These are reverb automations after I finished mixing this. These are reverb automations. If you look at the vocals, these are the same vocals that we were dealing with here uh, I made I, I made them go through the same process that you just saw and then I just uh, balanced them like I did so this is the Cubase 10.5 vocal mixing template I've got all these channels for lead vocal backing vocals and then I send them to my lead vocal group channel and backing vocal group channels and then i've got the reverbs here down so under the lead vocal i've got these plugins uh compressor the the delay and so on i've adjusted the plugins to the point that i still maintain the negative six but the vocals come out more than they were so let's listen to this and why do her like this Call me solve. 
Why you do her like this? Why you choose to be unfair? Why you do her like this? Why you don't believe? Why you do her like this? 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 Why you Alright, so I know you can see something like negative 5, negative 6, somewhere around that area because sometimes you can listen to the vocals and feel like some backing vocals can be a little bit higher than this. So you can push them, but don't go way too much. So we're just somewhere around negative 5, somewhere around there. But the average still remains negative 6 on most areas of the mix. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, follow me on Instagram and let's interact there. My name is Jay, see you in my next video. And I'm out. Why you know they keep passing it? Why you know they create passing it? Spice on the mix.